you uh you said that um and i and i know you're running out of time but um wuhan you would want to know what where covid came from how, how well, i believe we that? now know where it came from and now we finally do three years later i could have told you that in mid 2020 yeah but now we need to know the circumstances under which it was released i i believe it was there's a reasonable likelihood that there was some intentionality to it mm -hmm. i do i think that china's intentionally flooding Mexican drug cartels south of our own southern border with synthetic materials that create fentanyl south of our own southern border with Chinese chemists who live south of our own southern border pumping fentanyl into, into our country across the southern border. It's happening every day. Now, here's the deeper questions we have to ask, right? If there was some intentionality to the COVID-19 pandemic, if they are intentionally, as they absolutely are, sending raw materials for synthetic fentanyl south of our own southern border, and then they're responsible for 90% or you know, maybe it's 80% of our pharmaceutical supply chain for many classes of drugs. Who's to say that they won't lace that with the same fentanyl that they're lacing Percocet with that's crossing our southern border? Now, that sounds like the stuff of crazy conspiracy theories. But actually, if you're thinking about it logically based on the truth, it's not that unthinkable if we escalate our tension with China. And, and, and I think that they're the ones escalating the tension with the Chinese spy balloons flying over half our United States. So these are the questions we have to grapple with. Mm -hmm. And these are not easy questions to grapple with. They're ugly, they're hard. But we, as I said at the beginning, we can handle the truth. There is no such thing as a noble lie. And I think we live in a moment where, where the people who lead the government and the managerial class and the universities and in corporate America and in the federal bureaucracies, they believe the public can't handle the truth. If we believe we can handle the truth, some of it might be ugly, some of it might be uncomfortable, but the first step is just telling the truth again.